soil. You wish to learn about the art of magic. Yes, well, I'm sure you have had a long and perilous journey to arrive here at the Arcana. Many trials and tribulations, I'm sure that you have sacrificed a great deal to be here at our doorstep. And you should know that I, quite simply, do not care. For you see every fool that wanders here, from far and wide, who has given up so, so very much to fulfill their dream of becoming a powerful maid. has given me very much the same story. This will certainly not buy you any favour with me. You will have to prove yourself worthy. That is, of course, if you even meet the requirements to continue this conversation. Your papers. You have bought your papers, I assume. Well, out with it then. Okay. says here that you have some experience with the Magicka, the Traveller. Is that right? And what experience could a lowborn such as yourself possibly have with the ancient arts? You were attacked on the road. That's when it happened. Do go on. Is that so? A rather interesting story. Hmm. Strange. What you are referring to is a very, very old. is seldom spoken of in this age, even here at the Arcanum. There are few who know of its existence, 
you are still, who are even somewhat capable of even glimpsing this type of magic. Hmm. Still, stranger things have, of course, happened. No, I'm not suggesting that I believe your tale. You do have the disposition of someone who is being honest. I have become quite adept at picking up on such things. But of course, you could very well simply be a bumbling fool, mistaken. Perhaps it was a freak accident. Perhaps there is a perfectly logical explanation for what happened during that attack. An explanation that does not involve you. Merely a coincidence that your intent was to harm those bandits. And that was the moment at which, well, you gave a rather detailed and explicit account of the events that followed. Hmm. Curious. Now, before I humour you any further, I ask that you humour me first. It has been a trying day here at the Arcana, and I find myself quite in need of some fire tea. Yes, I'm well aware, but we all have our vices, do we not? And besides, should you find yourself ever acquiring a place here during your tutelage, you will learn all too quickly and there are many near and present dangers to worry about. So, some small indulgences, such as a nice cup of fire tea, are not likely to be how any here at the Arcana meet their end. about this day for a long time, no? Hmm. Yes, indeed. Patience is very much a virtue, one that you shall need 
should you end up going any further than our conversation today? Delightful, isn't it? The wonders that the world has given us. Hmm. Yes. Now, I do hate to bring this up, but well, you see, the life of a master here at the Alcana is not exactly. prosperous, one might say. So there is the small matter of your donation. Yes, to the Arcana, of course, not myself personally. You have bought a donation, have you not? Good. Well, hurry along now. I haven't got all day. Traveller, was it? And what does one such as yourself who finds themselves wandering the last do to acquire such well? Very well, right you are. And yes, perhaps there will be plenty of time for that in future. But make no mistake, while it is a rather generous donation, gold cannot buy your way into the study of the magic. No. You will need to demonstrate genuine aptitude And of course, a very particular character, if you are to continue any further here today. Yes, Magica is not at all like the fairy tales and stories that folks such as yourself I used to hearing. I assure you the realities are both more magnificent and also far more tedious than you could ever imagine. Admission into the Arcana means that you will be devoting yourself fully your studies. You will forsake all other paths and destinies 
that up until this point you might have envisioned for yourself. And these the Arcanum's texts will need to become your best friends. For that is what it is to be trained in the magic of devout and unwavering quest for knowledge and truth. Now tell me, what do you know of the arts? Yes, yes. Everybody knows such things. If you have truly traveled far and wide, risked peril in your very life to be here, as you suggest, There must be a reason. The why is just as, if not more, important than the what when it comes to magic. So tell me, what is your why? have much to learn. I assure you, I am more than capable of listening to you and reading at the same time. Yes, unusual to the common folk of the world, but there are certain and skills that those of the magicka must develop. The ability to split one's mind is one of the most basic of those such things. the art of writ. I'm surprised that you have encountered tales of it. It is something that we guard rather closely here at the Archive, because unlike other forms of magic, writ involves imbuing objects with certain characteristics, shall we say, that harness magicka. Of course, you can see why this would be something we do not freely speak of outside of these walls. That's right. Objects such as the rings you see upon my hand, necklace that I wear can indeed be imbued with power. Of course there are many types of red and often those who develop themselves to a study will specialise in 
one particular branch. But those who do learn are able to carve magical words into objects. These are not words in the sense that you are familiar with, or indeed words that you might find in books. They are more visual representations of one's will. And that will can be shaped into patterns, into lines, inscriptions, and with a powerful enough strength of will and significant knowledge there are those that can imbue pretty much any everyday object to be able to protect to charm to attack Yes. That's right. And of course, an artifact that has been imbued with writ could fall into the hands, either wittingly or unwittingly, of a common person who could very well use its power for terrible, terrible things. Even basic artifacts that have beginner, novice inscriptions and writ viewed within them, if used cleverly, could be quite disruptive to the general order of society. I'm pleasantly surprised that you appear to have an appreciation for consequence. Too many who come here are ambitious, eager, rash, and many who do go on to study here at the Arcana have fallen quiet and unthinkable fates because of this. For example, a basic inscription that one might seek to imbue upon an object. Let us say a coin might be the ability to warm oneself, if done correctly by a skilled practitioner, a coin imbued with the right writ, if kept upon one's person, could keep you warm, even in the most hellish snowstorm. Yes even in the wastes themselves. But, if one was to attempt to inscribe even this simple writ that aims to keep one's temperature under control without the required skills, knowledge and ability the process of forging such a coin could easily end up engulfing that particular rash and eager prospective student in flame. Yes. Now, 
magical fire is something else entirely when compared with regular fire. I'm sure you appreciate that burning to death would not be high on anybody's list of ambitions. But heed my warning to burn in a magical flame is a fate far worse than that. Yes. Indeed. Well, I must give you some credit at least. It seems I have not yet scared you off. Good. Bravery is a virtue. But do not let it veer into arrogance. I am sure that out on the road with your troop You are quite special, and if what you tell me is true of the attack that happened to your people, I'm sure there have been many times where you have fought yourself in possession of certain gifts and a certain mind that regular people simply do not understand. And you may very well be correct. But this is simply the bare minimum baseline for those that wish to embark upon study here at the Arcana. It will not protect you. That's right. Out in the world of ordinary people, you might be quite extraordinary. But here, at the Arcanum, you are another, below even the weakest of novices. And there is knowledge skill, learning that you, at this current point in your journey, could never hope to even begin to fathom. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Good. See that you do keep that in mind. It is not yet decided your aptitude seems up to scratch but alas I have been rather rude you have indeed come a long way can I interest you in a glass of wine It's from Fabella. Quite finer than anything I'm sure you have tasted in some time. Not at all. I make no prejudices against those that live life on the road, such as you and your troop. I do very much believe that a fine Fabella Red is one of the most magnificent 
wines in all the world. Yes. You'll see. of the Arcanum work well into the night, so for me at least it is a little too early, but please go ahead, indulge. you have many more vouchers such as this. I would not get too carried away just yet. Of course there are many jobs that you can do here at the Arcana. Should you prove sufficient in skill and given that that appears to be your entire fortune. Let us hope that you prove to be highly proficient. Now, for the formalities. somebody's will. Yes. Well, will is one of the very first things that any student here at the Arcana learns about. And it appears that yours is quite unique. Now, of course, with some basic training, you will learn to harness your will and control it. Now, ordinary people, of course, possess will. All living things possess at least a degree of will. Will is the essence of the magic, if you will. All living things, even this little part here, possess it. And it is this will that we at the Arcana must nurture, strengthen, and grow. Because will is the source 
with um, power within the arts, whether it is red or any other type of magic, from elemental magic, yes, the type of magic you claim to have. some influence over, it would seem, or even the most basic of binding magicka. All of this is possible because of will. Yes. I will give you this. rudimentary and it is not a current version the school of thought here at the Arcanum has progressed rapidly over the last couple of decades but it outlines the basic principles of magic and we will begin your training teachings of the will, how to recognize it, how to harness it, how to channel it, and it is mastery of will that acts as a sort of foundation to all other magic. I assure you, the excitement wear off rather quickly. Yes. Think of the will as the power that you possess within yourself. Not exactly the mind, but if it helps you to think of it that way to begin with. It is this that I referred to earlier when I mentioned that I was able to split my mind. That's how I'm able to read and also to uphold a conversation or to listen to somebody else. And in fact, I am able to split my will into many, many pieces. Fourteen. Yes. Now, don't get too excited. Not many here are able to split one's will into quite that many separate parts. Yes, there are certainly those, although few, who have exceeded this number considerably. Indeed, if you ever meet the Archmage, well, it's not entirely known, but there are rumours that the Archmage is able to split his will into more than one hundred. Now, the significance of this you cannot fully understand at the moment, but will is how we harness, use, control, channel, magic. So, if you are able to progress sufficiently over the next couple of months to first build an awareness of your will, and then to split it into two, and many do not ever get to that first step. It is a fundamental shift in belief, in understanding of how our species operates, how it works, how the mind is built.
if I were to ask you right now to play me a musical instrument and at the same time be writing a novel, you would think me a fool. <laughs> yes, wow. Well, that is not dissimilar to the asks that will be made of you. You will need to be able to split your will into multiple parts in order to utilize even the most fundamental magic. Yes. And it will involve lots of failure, lots of study, lots of disappointment. and a great deal of problem solving for this is the way that we initially train the will of a novice the ability to solve problems that regular people would not be able to comprehend now these are not simple problems that you are used to like the Mathematica no, these are problems that require a different type of thinking. Yes, that's right. Now, should you prove sufficient in your studies, in time, once you have learned to harness your will, once you have nurtured and strengthened it, you will progress on to the most practical and widely used type of magic. That is the art of binding. Now, the principle of binding is quite simple. All things in the world are made up the same source material at a level far below the comprehending that humans possess. At their very core, their essence, this coin and the sun are the very same. in order to be able to use binding. This is something you cannot just study, not something you can read about and learn in order to achieve. Rather it is something that will require belief. Now only when one believes that all things are fundamentally the same thing, only then can one start to utilize magic to bind them. Yes, now you can understand why being of a particularly bright disposition will give you no advantage when it comes to what we do here at the Arcana. It will be your force of will that determines your progress, not your existing knowledge, not your general intelligence or aptitude. Yes. Well, binding allows those of the magic to influence things, many things, any things, for those with enough prowess 
all things. That's right. Let us say, for example, you progress into your first basic binding. You might start with two objects that are very similar. Objects that are similar in character, component, material, weight, size, appearance, are the easiest to influence the rebinding. Now, what that might look like would be someone binding this coin to another very similar coin, and through the focus of will, being able to influence that entirely separate coin through coin that they possess. Now, observe, I put this coin down on the table here. I have formed a very basic binding between the two. Yes, that's right. Try to pick up do you notice anything unusual about it? That's right. Very observant. It's heavier than a regular coin. That's because it is now linked through binding to this coin. Yes. You see, when you bind two objects, they effectively become one object. Now, it's not as simple as that. And the will of the one harnessing the magicka plays a great part in exactly how the binding manifests and what exactly it does. But at its core, that link joins the two objects together. Now, place it back down here. That's right. And observe. Binding undone. Now this type of magicka is very basic, very simple. It requires no effort at all for somebody such as myself. Even our early level novices that have progressed in their studies are able to do such things relatively easily. That's because once you have that fundamental understanding that all things are linked. It then becomes simply a matter of how powerful your will is. And most people, even those who have no knowledge of magic at all, would have more than enough will to influence something as small as a coin. Yes, and a binding that links two objects in the way that I've just demonstrated their movement is one of the most simple forms of binding magic. But there are many types of binding. Now, one of those types of binding would be to bind two objects, and they don't have to be similar. It takes a greater level of will to bind objects that are dissimilar in nature. For example, a gold coin and a copper coin, that would be a less efficient binding than two gold coins, or if two copper coins are binded. But still relatively simple. Now to bind something like this coin to a horse, or a building, now that would take an immense amount of willpower. 
No, I'm afraid that I do not possess nearly enough will to do such a thing. It was merely an example. But there are those with incredible will. Now, you've heard the expression someone has a powerful force of will or is willful. Yes, well, think of the most powerful will you've ever encountered in a person. That would probably be not dissimilar to a drop of rain when it comes to potential in the world of magic. There are those whose will is as great and powerful as the ocean. And for those that have genuine mastery of will, well, the type of power that that affords someone is quite extraordinary. Yeah. Now, you have listened patiently. You have demonstrated excellent comprehension skill. And you have also demonstrated that you are someone of a cautious disposition. Now, there are many circumstances where caution might be thought of as cowardly or weak out there in the world that you know. But here, that the arcanum, for those that truly wish to master the arts, it is what will keep you alive. It is all too easy. Once you start to get harness, a small taste of the power that magic affords, to lose yourself. And not only does the use of one's will for magic drain a person, physically and mentally, to an extraordinary degree, especially in the beginning, it can also undo your very mind. It can break you. learn any type of magicka is not the same as learning anything that you might have experienced up until now. Indeed, to learn magicka is to understand it, to know it. It is the revelation of a type of the truth about the world and all things. Even a small, insignificant type of magic requires knowledge that no scholar, even the most adept genius, those with insurmountable gifts of intellect out there, It is an understanding of the true nature of reality itself. And that knowledge, that knowledge takes a toll on a person. <laughs> well, that's quite enough doom and gloom for one day. I think. It's time for another cup of fire tea.
and that'll be all for now. You are admitted to the Arcana. Now, before you get too excited, this is only a provisional acceptance. The days ahead will be trying. And there is no guarantee that you will make it to the end of the month. You have surmounted the first hurdle here today. That's right. Yes. You shall have my signature on your papers. You will need to head to the courthouse. They will run you through the basic formalities and arrangements for your living quarters. And they will also outline your schedule for the next week. Do you want to make of yourself?